Yo, what's up everyone? It is Big Daddy Gaming here, and today I am bringing you some NCAA Football 13 gameplay. And, um, so yeah, I have a dynasty coming up, and so let me just basically give you a rundown of why I haven't posted in a little while. So basically, um, I had my, um external hard drive just decide to you know crash on me so um i had to um uh, i was basically the people at best buy took a couple of days to um try to get all the memory back on but everything was lost so I had a ton of gameplay saved up, and yeah, that sucked. And then I was on vacation, so anyways, but let's forget about all of that, and I am bringing you this Acheron Dynasty. So I know um, if you guys watch any of them, uh, Sports Gaming Universe, and um, uh, what's this for, Mr. Hurricane, are doing... You know, kind of like an NCAA. Uh, well, just saying right there, that was the conference I was going to. So, uh, yeah, they're doing an NCAA uh, Dynasty with UMass for SGU. And Mr. Hurricane is doing UTSA. So, if, you know, if I ever get recognized on YouTube, you know, I kind of want to be known as the guy that did you know, rebuild the Acheron. I've never really seen anyone do Acheron. And, you know, this isn't, you know, they're not the worst team, but they're definitely not the best team. So I'm just going through the, uh, you know, our um, goals. So there we go. I will sign the contract, and I'm officially the head coach of the Acheron Zips. That's right. So here we go. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Um, we are just gonna set up the recruiting board. So what I always like to do every dynasty offline or online. Well, here's actually the roster. You can you know pause it if you want to see. Basically, I'm gonna be working a lot on the running game with that Chiss home. Uh, 90 speed, 81 overall. That's something that we can definitely work with. And I was just going to see. Yep. And Wesley. Uh, I just want to see that to see if um, I had the right rosters downloaded. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, this is just going to be a very slow video. And just me basically talking the entire time. So, yeah. Pause it if you want to see a specific, you know, part of our depth chart but we definitely do need some work on recruiting and I'm thinking by year you know seven or eight we're gonna you know maybe be a um you know starting to get to be a better team like kind of like a team that's like Boise nowadays speaking of Boise <laughs> you'll see what happens Towards the end of the video, and I'll just tell you. So I put Boise as week one, and let me just tell you, it was the closest game you're probably ever going to see uh, as the Acheron Zips. So here we go. We are just going to do some recruiting. That's right. So yeah, here we go. We are just waiting to load, and that's one thing I hope they fix for NCAA 14. Um, definitely the loading screens take so long. As you can see, I'm not using really, really updated roster. So if you see at the bottom, Tyler Eifert still on Notre Dame, but I mean I don't think anyone's really changed the roster since the draft. But anyways, what I like to do with every dynasty is um I always look out for I always pick five or six top prospects and then I go to um you know everyone else <sighs> excuse
excuse me, I just had a yawn. So then I go to everyone else who actually wants to go to the school. So, you know, it sometimes works out, but I'm just checking that out with our pipeline states of Acheron. And no one really wants to go here, so I'm just going to pick out that D end, defensive end, and that uh, athlete and that quarterback. So, yeah, definitely something to build on for the future is the wide receiver and quarterback position. And I think, yeah, I think uh, Chisholm Hall, the running back, is a sophomore. So I have him for at least one more year. And maybe he will progress a little bit and we'll have a great run game. Uh, you know, and then I decided to be an idiot. But I mean, we'll have, you know, a better run game than we do this season. So here we go just now. I'm just going to basically talk about the, um, uh, I know there's well, three minutes left in this video. So I'm going to basically talk about my, um, wish list for basically NCAA 14 and Madden 14. So basically my Madden 14, I know a few people have been requesting this. Um, I want a better injury engine. Uh, it seems like players, you know, it's been getting better over the years, but you know, players get injured on plays where you wouldn't get injured. And you know, maybe adapt the injury physics uh, new injury physics is you are to create new ones and adapt them to the um, the collision like the um, I don't know how to describe it the uh, physical I don't know what it was the hitting engine so I mean when you get a bigger hit you get injured more like I've seen I got a hit in Madden the other day where I took a guy's legs out flipped him up in the air and he landed on on his neck and you know that would have been in real life definitely you know an injury and see I will put Boise as my week one um team so yeah that, that was that should have been an injury but you know he gets up the next play and then I get this little tiny hit along the sideline that just pushes him out I see him fall to the ground and, I mean, same goes for NHL. Um, you know, every game that has a hitting engine add more realistic injuries and, you know, just stuff like that. And also in Madden, maybe even, um, I did see in that new Ignite trailer. I don't know if you guys seen it. I'll link it in the description. The, um, brand new, um, what's it called? Uh, I saw that, um, when the one part, when, um, the Dallas player is running through the line, offensive line, RG3 kind of touches the back of his lineman, and it almost looks like he pushes his lineman, locker, whatever it was, excuse me, into the defensive player. So, yeah, I will link that in the description. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And anyways, this is Big Daddy Gaming signing out. See you later, everyone.